we're going to solve multi-step inequalities. Great thing about this is it's exactly like solving one-step inequalities. All the rules apply, and it's just longer. All right, you you know how to solve multi-step equations, so we're going to solve multi-step equations with the inequality rules. Remember, the really only the trick is if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip that sign. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so I'm going to add nine to both sides. I'm going to keep the inequality right there. So now I have 2x is less than 24. Opposite of multiply by 2 is divide by 2. x is less than 12. All right, now I'm going to graph it. <clears throat> Open circle there. I want all the numbers less than 12. Boom. All right, I could check. Plug in 10. 2 times 10 minus 9. Is that less than 15? 20 minus 9, is that less than 15? 11 is less than 15, it does check. All right, see, everything is exactly the same. The only difference would be if I had divided by a negative 2 or I would have flipped that sign, all right? Otherwise, all is the same. So let's try some more. All right, so let's do this one on the left first. Ooh, decimal, it's all right. Multi-step now, <clears throat> I'm going to multiply, I'm going to distribute 0.25. So I'm not doing anything on the left. So 12 is less than or equal to 0.25 times 4 is 1. So I have 1x. 0.25 times 8 is 2. So I have plus 2. All right. So now I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And 10 is less than or equal to x. Scroll down here. Let's graph that. So I know my boundary is at 10. Close because it could be equal to it. And I want all the numbers that are bigger than 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the numbers bigger than 10 are that way. All right, now we have to combine some like terms, right? So that's not a problem. Let's combine our like terms. On this side, I have 2x's and 3x's. So 5x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3x is 5x minus 5. Now I need to get my x's together, so I'm going to subtract 5x from this side, subtract 5x from this side. All right, so now I have 6 is greater than or equal to, oh, this cancels out too, negative 5. Is 6 greater than or equal to negative 5? Is that a true statement? If it's a true statement, then yes, all solutions would work. All right, all solutions would work. Okay, in other words, I could pick any number I wanted off that graph, plug it in, and it would make it true. Okay? All right. So I wonder what else we have in store. Well, let's see. How about this one? Let's multiply it out. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 4 is negative 8. Is that greater than 6x plus 4? Get my x's together. Is negative 8 greater than 4? Well, no, that, that statement doesn't make sense. Therefore, it is no solution. All right? So if it makes sense, all solutions. If it doesn't make sense, no solution. That should be pretty easy to remember. All right, Timmy Cat is on the prowl. Rare. The Kitten Crusader has caught five bad guys already today and hopes to be able to catch two and a half criminals every hour. What are possible amounts of hours that Timmy Cat needs to be on the prowl to catch at least 30 bad guys? All right, let's, let's do some stuff here. First of all, let's get rid of stuff that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. All right, caught five bad guys. That matters. All right, um, hopes to catch two and a half criminals every hour. That's important. Uh, 30 bad guys is important, and we want to know possible amount of time to catch these 30 bad guys well all right let's see what we got we started with five that's how many he caught already and he's catching two and a half more every hour all right every hour per that means i don't know how many hours but i'm multiplying by two and a half and he needs to be able to catch at least 30 so could it be greater than 30 yeah, this number could be greater than or equal to 30 because it's at least 30, right? So I'm going to have to subtract here. Subtract 5. 2.5x is greater than or equal to 25. Divide both sides by 2.5. 
all right? And x is greater than or equal to 10. So Timmy Cat's gonna have to work at least 10, or uh, at least 10 hours or more to catch 30 criminals. All right, so try these, and then we'll see what we can do. All right, so here we go. I need to distribute 1 8th. Now, 1 8th times 7 is 7 8 x. 1 8th times 8 is 1. Greater than or equal to 7 8 x plus 2. I need to get my x's together. Opposite of adding them is subtracting them. So now that is cancels here. I have negative 1 is greater than or equal to 2. Is that true? Is negative 1 greater than or equal to 2? No, that's not true. And since the answer is no, it's no solution. Okay, let's come over here. Add 8 to both sides. That gives us negative 5x is less than 40. Divide by negative 5. Whoa! Divide by negative, what do I have to do? I have to switch this sign here. So now it goes to greater than. So x is greater than negative 8. So we can graph this one. All right, so it's an open circle at 8. I want all the numbers greater than that. That's going to be that way. All right, uh, good luck on a mash check. Here's my all-time favorite math song. Hope you like it. Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing. So get off your ad, let's do some math, 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 math. Three minus four is... Negative one. That's right. And six times a billion is... Six billion? Nailed it. And 54 is a 45 more than what is the answer, Marta? Nine. No, it's eight. No, it's nine. Yes, I was testing you. It's nine. And that's a magic number.